Okay. So, anyways, I noticed how the other day, um, it's been a lot of negative comments about what my homegirl, one of my very, one of my favorite artists since I was a kid, Miss Jackson, if you're nasty, hence the name. That's my last name, too. <laughs> yes, it is. But anyway, Miss Jackson made a comment, which I don't think was harmless or meant to offend anyone. All she said was she heard that Kamala Harris was Indian and not black. What's wrong with that? Because to be honest, I don't consider the woman black my damn self. Okay. Well, it's one in particular celebrity that I have an issue with. Uh, what's his name? Uh, D.L. Hughley, whatever his name is. I mean, I know his name, but uh, whatever. He has an issue with my girl, and not just on this particular subject. He came for Janet before in the past. I don't know what it is about Miss Jackson that he doesn't like. Maybe it's because he can't have her and he want her and people can't. People want what they can't have. I don't know the issue. But what I do know is D.L. Hughley, I don't know if you're going to see this video or not because I'm not making it to go viral, clickbait, nothing like that. I just want to put it out there. Why you keep coming for my girl? Not only is she my favorite celebrity, but like I said, we have the same last name. My mama just recently passed away. Her and my mother carried it. They, they share the same birthday, May 16th, six years apart. But why you keep coming for my girl? She got a right to speak her mind and say what she feel, just like you speak up on certain situations that are you know, going on. You always got insults and stuff to say about Janet. Talking about, oh, how you gonna criticize somebody and she breathing out of a white woman's nose. She paid for that nose. So it's hers. Evidently, she didn't like the nose she had, but that's her business. Why is you worried about her nose? And your jokes are corny. I don't know if anybody ever told you that. <laughs> But I'm telling you, your jokes are corny. You shouldn't even been on the Kings of Comedy in the first daggone place. You're not funny. The only two I think that should have been up there was, of course, the late Bernie Mac and Steve Harvey. Shot nothing against, um, what's his name? Um, oh, I can't think of it. But, um, um, the other one. Nothing against him. But those are the only two I think that should have been up there. That should have made it Kings of Comedy. And to be honest, and to keep it a buck, the real original Kings of Comedy are Richard Pryor, Red Fox, and Eddie Murphy. There, I said it. Now, like I said, D.L., Keep Miss Jackson's name out your mouth. Miss Jackson, if you're nasty, keep her name out your mouth. Have a nice day.